Hi, so Charlie giving you Friday's live trading video, but it's not a live trading video. I'm actually recording this at quarter past 10 Thursday night. Uh, I'm off to London all day uh, tomorrow, so I thought, actually, I'll do a quick video and send it out to you. So why is trading so difficult? Most people are, uh, uh, go into trading thinking, oh, it's gonna, this is going to be quite easy. I can go on a weekend course. I can learn trading off the internet or whatever it might be by a system that's, you know, one plus one equals two and then away I go sort of thing but as we most of us know trading actually isn't that easy it's I've I've trained so many traders over the years I've trained doctors vets surgeons highly intelligent people who have said that trading is one of the most difficult things they've ever tried to achieve so it goes a lot deeper than just the ability to learn um, some fundamental analysis or some technical analysis and some chart patterns or whatever it might be. It's so much deeper than that because what we're actually trading is human emotion and hum human emotion changes all of the time. We can't approach the markets and expect a 1 plus 1 equals 2 outcome all of the time. That will work for periods and that's why mechanical based strategies will work for periods. But the problem is that the market is an organic thing. So if the market's organic, the market is a collective of the human sub subconscious and the human emotions, then the market is constantly changing as well. So how can you expect to apply the same principle day in, day out and get the same reward or the same outcome? It doesn't work that way. Now, don't get me wrong. There's lots of strategies we can employ. But the important point is being able to apply the right strategy at the right time. And that's where we need to, as humans, um, be able to have that ability to be able to read the market in the right way. So trading isn't that straightforward it's not something which you can spend three thousand pounds on a system I just heard from a trader today who spent three thousand pounds on a you know a very well-known system which he said was absolute rubbish because um, you know they're just good at marketing these systems and it's not as easy as one plus one equals two you have to be able to roll your sleeves up and put the work in. That includes back testing and all of that, but it also includes building experience as a trader. There is absolutely no substitute for being able to have been there when you've had two losers on a row, three losers in a row, five or even ten losers in a row, and being able to come through that and appreciate that it's just circumstantial and that. Um, the markets and, and returns are entirely random and that you have to have the ability to be able to shrug it off and take that next trade where a lot of people can't do that. A lot of people can't after a few losers take that next trade or they don't know what to do. They they take that next trade and they double up or triple up and that becomes a problem or they hesitate and they can't take the next trade and that becomes a problem because they miss out on the winners. All these things happen to traders all the time. They still happen to me right now as well. I still, after all these years, still miss out on some opportunities sometimes because I just don't feel like I want to take it. So all we can do is manage ourselves as much as we can, appreciate that what we're supposed to be in this business to do, which is to take the trades as and when the analysis um, comes along, even if our gut doesn't feel like taking a trade, and being able to continue that process rather than just blindly following a, a, a simple system, actually being able to adapt to the markets and being able to shrug off the hard times when we have a, a series of losing trades, but also being able to cope with when we're having a really good run as well and not become overconfident because that can be just as dangerous as well. So my thoughts for you this week are why are the markets so difficult to trade and the, reason are, the reasons are what I've just said. The reasons the markets are so difficult to trade is because we are effectively trading against ourselves and we are effectively trading against human emotion because that is what drives markets. And if we can actually overcome that, if we have the ability to be able to truly um, 
analyze ourselves and our thought processes then we can actually override our natural fight or flight responses and if we can override those then we can make the right decisions more often at the right time we're not going to do it all of the time like I've just said um, I can't make the right decisions all of the time I do miss out on opportunities at time times and um, I bank my profits early at times as well when maybe I should have um, run the trade so much further but one thing I do know and I do appreciate is that one if I run my trades to a, a decent risk to reward ratio level then I know that overall I'm going to be doing okay not just not on one trade or two trades because the outcome over one or two trades is entirely random but once I get past 20 30 trades then the outcome if I've got the right sort of approach is less random um, because I know I have the ability to analyze the markets in a, in, a, in a certain way and adapt to those markets so if you can if you can spot your own weaknesses and play to your strengths that's how you actually overcome um, the uh, the difficulties of trading the markets and how you really get to that point where you can consistently make money and I'm not talking about consistently making money over one month or two months I'm talking about over a period of years can you do it over a period of years and make money because a lot of people can't do it over a sustained period of time they can put in a good couple of months two or three months and then something happens and they go and blow it all you need to be able to build that experience and really delve into your own um, psychology and what drives you what motivates you as well as understanding your thought processes because it's those thought processes the critical decision making which is what really makes you your money not a single strategy or holy grail type um, uh, system as we so often see anyway some food for thought there I'm only seven minutes in so I think I'll leave that with you and maybe we'll um, we'll reflect on this at some point in the future enjoy your Fridays enjoy your weekends being back in touch next week <laughs>